Good afternoon and welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Wednesday, September 5th, 2018. We're so excited to have in the studio with us Bethlehem Steel, whenever you're ready.
watching Audio Tree Live. We're in the studio with Bethlehem Steel, and you guys have really been hitting the road hard, it seems like, uh, promoting your latest release that came out last November entitled Party Naked Forever. And on your travels, I'm sure there's tons of stories, but one that stood out was your shark encounter in Florida. You want to talk about that? Yes. <laughs> yeah, so we were, where were we, Pensacola? Yeah. Yeah, Squeaky Beach. Um, <laughs> Red algae. <laughs> and we were swimming in the ocean. I think it was just us two in, in there at that point. And I'm facing, I have the water to my back. I'm talking to Becca and she just goes, like, <laughs> terrified. Oh, and I turn over and there's just like thousands of fish jumping out of the water. Like, it was really scary. And then we both didn't say anything. We just turned and like booked it out of there. Then you looked it up and that's like the first sign of a shark attack, like a feeding frenzy. Ooh, no way. Yeah. yeah, then we saw like this big, like, oh yeah, dark mass swimming around and like, and then like get shadow. out of water. No yeah, way. We got everyone else out too. Yeah, Becca, yeah. Prom yeah. Becca promptly scared the hell out of everybody on the beach too. <laughs> like, just, yeah, but then the you, shark. you decided yeah. to go out there looking like a snack. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like a snack that day, that's for sure. Well, I didn't, I didn't believe it. <laughs> Kept your composure for the most part, it feels like, so that's good. <laughs> but uh, talking about more hometown stuff, I wanted to talk about Shea Stadium because that's something that's near and dear to everyone in the band's heart. Mm -hmm. You guys have worked there, practiced there, shot the video for 87s yeah. there, right? And there was a whole Kickstarter campaign for it. Just talk about what that venue means to you and means to Brooklyn. Take this one, Patty. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, Shea was a great place. Long-running DIY venue. Uh, ran for about seven years. Um, yeah, I worked there and used to help run shows with some good friends. Uh, met Becca over there, I think, in 2012 or 13. Um, but yeah, it meant a lot for us. Um, and it was somewhere we, we all could go and every day and go check out great stuff going on, everybody. And, had the right idea, and it just felt it felt very special when it was happening. Uh, a lot of a lot of things have changed around Brooklyn in terms of DIY music, so those memories are are really nice. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's keep uh, the good times rolling. If you're ready to get into your next kind of chunk of songs, uh, I didn't tune because I was thinking. Oh. <laughs> Well, while, while uh, Becca is tuning, uh, let's talk about the rest of their tour with Baked. You can catch them. They have a few dates left. On the 6th, they're in Columbus, Ohio. On the 7th, they're in Pittsburgh, PA. And then they'll be rounding out this tour with Baked with a few New York dates. So definitely go on their social media, check out those dates. And then also, uh, starting October 28th, so later in October, they'll be on tour with Lemuria, and that will run through November 17th. So they'll be back in Chicago here, for example, on November 10th at Sub T. Uh, but for more dates and specifics on what cities they're hitting and more information on that, check out their social media. Anyone who's been following the Kane saga, the Kane got smashed at a uh, Arby's. <laughs> I had a Kane for a minute because I my knees all messed up and Christina oh, no. thought it was evil so I smashed it. It Ooh. wasn't evil. Was that the did it have like an animal on the it's like grip a of it? Eel kind of yeah, thing. okay. Yeah, so it's <laughs> like it might be it's in this parking lot. Uh we didn't geotag it or anything. So it might be like a Jumanji type situation going on Ooh. over there soon. <laughs> um I'm sorry Arby's if you want to rid yourself of this potential evil. Uh, you can start sending us that free roast beef that we've been asking for for all these years. <laughs>
watching Audio Tree Live. We're in the studio with Bethlehem Steel. And talking about discography, coming up, you have a seven inch split with Washer coming out in November. Is that still on schedule? Uh, yes. And how did you determine Washer? I mean, you guys have played with so many bands and all over the place. What was it about Washer that you guys just knew this split had to happen with them? Um, well, Kieran and John just can't get enough of each other, so kind of didn't have a choice. <laughs> Kieran's a drummer in Washer. Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> they're, good, they're great buds. They hang out a lot. They're a lot of fun. And but yeah, great. They're just yeah. really good friends. Nice. <laughs> With recording it, did both bands do their own thing, or was it a collaborative kind of recording experience? Um, we all went up to Vermont together to oh, uh, Dooley's spot. Yeah. He records both of our albums. Dooley. And, Dooley. Um, you know, kind of takes care of all of us <laughs> in many ways. That's amazing. That So uh, was it... Uh, was it yeah. different? Was it good, different, bad, different, having another band there in the studio while you guys were working on your stuff? Well, Johnny actually doesn't, him and Kieran, I don't know, he doesn't get so fired up about playing drums in front of Kieran because they're both uh, pretty competitive with each other. Yeah, let's get the... I mean, that, that's not entirely true, but um, <laughs> one interesting aspect of it is that on the split we're doing covers of each other's songs Ooh. so i was playing kieran's drum parts in front of him and that was a little intimidating <laughs> just never broke eye contact as you were playing it <laughs> yeah those covers came out those came out a lot of fun we have a song on there that we're really excited about putting out too so it's gonna be fun that's amazing oh, yeah. all tuned up and ready to close it out with the last chunk of songs Let's close it out my hands are so sweaty Ooh. you too sweaty hands. that check. means you're working hard <laughs> or just like try not to throw up when it comes out it's kind of coming out in the palms <laughs> we're good we're good the cane's gone we're good I wish I could fall apart see how long it takes to get back home again maybe
jobs, I can't tell if I'm real anymore. Steel. Make sure to check them out as they finish up their tour with Baked in Columbus, Pittsburgh, and a couple dates in New York. Uh, definitely check them out when they come around again with Lemuria starting in late October and check out their latest release entitled Party Naked Forever. Bethlehem Steel, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for performing thank today. Thank you, Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> Big thanks to everyone here in the studio, sound engineers, camera and lighting crew, and you, the viewers. Give us a shout or the band if you want to connect. And from all of us here at Audio Tree, have a good rest of your day, and we'll see you next time. Oh. Our prize. <laughs> the prize. You want to hide you. <laughs> All right, so you guys want to do it for real now?